copy that, press paste. Okay, so LumaFusion 2 has just arrived and uh, it was a very small up update. It didn't really take any time at all. Uh, and I see there's plenty of changes in here. Um, one of the ones I really like is uh, the fact that you can have six video feeds now. Uh, and I've got an iPad Pro 10.5, so that's got four gig of RAM. So I'm guessing it's gonna cope quite well with that, but I'll give that a try anyway. Um, the one thing that I've always wanted to do on LumaFusion, um, and it is an amazing product, and I've used it for the last six months, um, so ever since this video, um, so my iPad Pro one, uh, all my videos have been done with LumaFusion, and it's really helped me because some of my videos have had uh, script, uh, split screens, and I've been able to do a lot more than I could with iMovie on my old MacBook, and it's a really old MacBook, so I've really, uh, I've really needed to have something uh, that's much faster to edit and render and everything like that and LumaFusion has just just been incredible and it's a free update so I'm really pleased with that um, so if I open up the app uh, and I've got a recent video I've done here uh, and it's enabled me to do things like uh, overlay these buttons and um, it's very very easy to move things and resize things and and change things on screen so like if I pick the remote control uh, I can very easily just pick that and resize that but I can also undo and go back to as it was. Um, so if I go back to the project, one thing I've noticed that's, that's changed is if I press on this, I can move the whole thing in its entirety, whereas before it used to be that you'd move a single element. So what's really nice is if you've, so like I've done with that clip, obviously I've got four elements in that. Um, so I've got the top one there, which is the two buttons. I've got the remote control. I've got the sort of stock footage uh, and I've also got my voiceover as well. So that, that works really well and I've just dragged that by accident. So let's go back to that. So the one thing I, I'm not sure if you can do on LumaFusion but I've never managed to be able to do it uh, and it would be a bit like a copy and paste but of a clip uh, and not necessarily um, this whole entity but what would be really nice uh, I think is if I could press on that so I know I've selected that uh, and then there's some space down the bottom here. If I could somehow copy that, uh, so press the copy button and move it to the beginning or move it to the end. Because sometimes what I do is I pick a little part of my video uh, and I want to be able to move that to the beginning, just like an intro. In fact, I've got one on, uh, this is all moved around. Yeah, I think I've got one on here. Uh, now, I've the reason that it, it's looking a bit weird is that I've deleted some of the videos that, that were in this, so that's why it's coming up with that. But the initial clip uh, that I put at the start of this video appears later in the video, but I just wanted it as a, as a how it starts. So it would go through, it would play some music, and, it, and it's how it would start. Um, but uh, that clip appears somewhere later on in the video. So it's gonna be really hard, I suppose, if I look for my facial expression. Oh no. Okay, so say for instance, uh, it's this clip here uh, that I want. Now, if I wanted to move that, I'd want to be able to uh, basically hold that, click on a copy down here somewhere, uh, and then I could move to the beginning of the oh, move to the beginning of the project, um, and then say for instance, have it here, uh, and then it could maybe press paste. Uh, so press that button uh, and have maybe paste before or after clip or something like that. But if there is another way of doing this, uh, because at the moment the way I see it is uh, and the way I've been doing it, um, but I'm I'm very new to editing, so you know the, it, as I say there there probably is a better way of doing this. But I would I would maybe have picked that clip uh, and then I would have I would have had to hold it to one side and drag it. Uh, and if I want to go right to the beginning and I've got a 30 minute video, that takes quite a while. Um, so then you'd get it to the place that you wanted it and then drop it in. As I say, this, this works absolutely fine, but that's the one thing I would add to LumaFusion for, for my preference. But the fact that we can now add uh, six videos, uh, and that's really good for things like titles and things like that. So if I go over to my photos uh, and let's go, yeah, so there's videos. Let's pick some little video clips. Oh, this has changed as well, look. So, and then I can drag that down. So there's one, two, three. Well, that green screen's got a change in it because uh, what was there has now disappeared. What's that, about two second video? So let's pick another bike one. 
three, two, call it that. Drag that down. Let's move these over to this one. And then I could maybe delete that. Uh, where's the delete gone down there? Uh, so that's three video clips overlaid. Let's get another one. Four. And then maybe cut that so it's a bit tidier. Delete that part. Uh, let's get another one. Uh, let's try that one. Oop. I often do that where I drag in, trying to get that. That would be nice if, if, if this little bit on the right hand side was just a bit further in, because I generally do this and I pull over, <laughs> a loving message from my wife, uh, I pull over a message and, uh, you know, or, or something on that. Uh, might, that might change with iOS 13. Um, but yeah, that would be nice to have that just indented just a little bit. Right, let's, uh, so what have we got now? One, two, three, four, five videos. Um, and remembering this is the 10.5 iPad Pro, so it's, well, it's not old, but uh, it's been superseded uh, and it's still lovely and fast. So now let's, so the original video, so the bike one, if I click on that, so why is that not showing up? So I would expect that as it's the bottom one to be showing up. Oh no, because the top one's there, isn't it? Yeah, so I've got to do it in this order. Right, ignore me. I'm trying to do this live and it's not working very well. Right, so let's just move that out of the way. Uh, let's resize this video. I'm struggling to resize things. Right, that's better. Uh, and let's go back and then this video. And this is all... Uh, 1080 60 all this video so it's not 4k I probably should have done this with 4k to to see what happens uh, and then another one and then where's that one so that one is that one's full screen at the moment so let's just move that kind of in the middle you can see one two three four five six videos and let's see how that plays So all the audio, uh, everything's there. So obviously I could I could get rid of all that. But look at that. I mean that is that is just amazing. That you know a device that cost me what did I pay four four hundred and seventy? I bought this second hand, um, and and it's just it's just so swift. And there and there really is no slowdown. It is such a pleasure to use. Okay, so it's quick sound and for around five seconds. Yeah, that is that is impressive. Uh, so. Um, I love LumaFusion. Uh, I'm going to continue to use LumaFusion 2. I see all these changes on the left-hand side. There's, a, there's all sorts of things that have been moved around. Uh, I'm liking it. It certainly doesn't seem jarring to go to this new interface. Everything uh, just seems a bit, a, bit, uh, a bit clearer, a bit better laid out uh, already. So as I say, I'm not struggling and I've only just started using it. Literally, I've just downloaded it before I've done this video, but I thought I wanted to get it out there quick. So if anybody has a tip on how I move something from the end of my video, so a little video clip like this, how I move that to the beginning. So say for instance, I wanna, I wanna clone that. So uh, yeah, press plus, that's clone that. So I've got that clip now. If I wanna move that to the beginning, is there another way? I mean, even if you could uh, press that left arrow, but that doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, I don't know what it's doing. Um, but uh, yeah, just a way of moving that um, to be able to put it at the beginning or getting a clip at the beginning and moving it to the end. Uh, that would be really helpful, but to the LumaFusion team, you have made an incredible app. It's so well priced, uh, and this update was free, which is great as well. Uh, I'll continue to use it, um, and if you want to see what I've done with it, I mean, I use mostly I film on an iPhone 7. I've just bought a Sony camera, but uh, so on my channel, anything in the last six months was done with LumaFusion, and I've really been experimenting with various different things. So on this last one here, I've got some green screen. Uh, which uh, was interesting to try. Unfortunately, the picture behind me was blue, which uh, meant that I couldn't isolate that as the top I was wearing was blue. But that that was really, uh, I really enjoyed that. This remote is probably the best one I've done for 
an explanation video uh, and being able to uh, you know overlay all these bits and find these buttons these are things that just with iMovie I found that I couldn't do thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe